All right, let's go over the metronome stuff. So please keep working on what you missed the last time. Get those bends and the rhythms good. Remember, all that's going to help with learning the songs. And that's all part of uh, being able to, like as you put it, uh, like know what people are playing in songs and being able to take what's in your head and put it down on paper or put it down on the instrument. <coughs> so, with the uh, hammer on pull off stuff, remember you want to make it an even three. So, like a one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Goal is to get to 200. Just remember, always start at 60 beats a minute. Okay, as far as the solo goes, the first thing we're looking at is oh, where would that be? We're on line three, last bar. Breaking this up into a couple parts. So the first thing is that's the first riff you got to work on. Two notes a beat. One, two, one, two, one. And then the part after that, still two notes a beat. We have again. Once more. Sweep. You're using your ring finger <coughs> on the 16s, middle finger on the 15, index on the 14. Two notes a beat. Again. Once more. And that's that. So those are the, the focus points for. Uh, guess this partial week since I'll see you again in just a few days. Uh, yeah, well, any questions let me know. But uh, <coughs> good luck practicing and just, yeah, <coughs> excuse me, you know, the biggest thing is to stay consistent with it. So try and run through each of those at least once a day. You just get those as fast as you can. They're pretty short riffs to play, so I can't imagine it would take too long to get through so you probably run through everything within half an hour each day and just work on getting them up. So I mean, that's the biggest thing with getting speed. you got to be consistent with the practice. Daily practice is the best. So, all right. I'll see you Wednesday.